materials are obviously all around us. Essentially what we're talking about is everything that we appreciate as a society. In terms of material science, Penn State's regarded amongst the materials community as a prestigious place. Material science is the study of materials, and that seems like a very simplified definition. It's the study of how the structure and chemistry of materials affects their properties. I define it as applying the basics of chemistry and physics. New technologies come from good new science, and all of this eventually comes down to making something. Virtually every industry in the world has some aspect, if you're making anything, any physical product, then you'll need to have some materials science and engineering behind that. From private enterprise point of view, we understand this. We try to study macro trends in our very rapidly globalizing world, and we ask ourselves, first of all, is this trend gonna change the way people live or the way they do business? If we can answer yes, then the second question that we ask is, will material science have an impact on those trends? And the answer that we come up with in awful lot of areas is yes. There's a number of areas where we in particular from an industrial point of view uh, see that material science will be very impactful. There have been a lot of breakthroughs and improvements in materials. We've all seen them. Uh, but no matter what you did last year, you can make it better next year. What we do at Piezo Residence Innovations is we incorporate smart materials into each of our medical devices and those materials make my medical device work. What I'm doing is I'm improving the quality of life for people. So if it's making it easier for the surgeon to perform the operation, great. If it's making it so that there's less of an invasive procedure so that the person heals better and gets out of the hospital faster, that's fabulous. Innovation from our industrial point of view is implementing new ideas to create value. So more and more the answer to the question, where do those new ideas come from, the answer is major research institutions like Penn State. Our work is all about manipulating atoms, manipulating chemistry, manipulating microstructures to create materials that have special properties. We're really trying to carry technology forward and make a direct impact. Just trying to understand why do the materials that we like to use and would like to use in the future, how do they get their properties and how can we change them? Material science can really positively affect healthcare and I find that to be very stimulating in terms of a motivation to work through some of the very hard science to improve these technologies. Currently I work on growing silicon nanowires. The eventual goal was to try and make efficient solar cells so that we can make cleaner, better renewable energy sources. The materials and the chemicals that we're working on today go into the cars, go into the boats, go into the computers of the future. But of course, internet works very fast and very well, but it can be much, much faster. We are talking about making logical elements inside an optical fiber so that as light guides through, there is also some processing of the light that takes place as it is passing through so that the whole network becomes more seamless. I'm working with a steel manufacturer that makes landing gear. There is actually a, a difference in the internal structure with um, this one that doesn't have adequate strength. And they were able to change their production and hence improve the strength while maintaining the toughness. Pulling up to a stoplight, and now instead of this one large incandescent bulb staring at us, we actually see a bunch of individual LED bulbs. They use a lot less current, they have a much longer lifetime. Once again, that's a creation born out of the study of material science and engineering. Materials are used in every application, be it biomedical, energy-related applications. A lot of the breakthroughs occur when you get material scientists working with neuroscientists or material scientists working with oncologists. Today, interdisciplinary approaches to material science are not only technically driven, they're, they're driven by the business climate. We also have our business school, uh, which works closely with industry, looking at the kinds of issues that impact the cost structure. 
And by knowing these things as we're doing material science and engineering research, it gives us an edge. People recognize the magnitude of what goes on here in terms of education and research in materials. The number of faculty that work in the discipline of materials at Penn State is probably larger than at almost any other university, uh, at least in the United States, if not in the world. In terms of industrial support, in terms of government support, uh, the national labs and so on, again, Penn State ranks within the top two or three. So Penn State has got its position well established within industry, uh, within the academic world, and certainly on the international front, uh, Penn State is very well known for its prowess in material science and engineering. Penn State's really at the cutting edge in terms of having the kind of equipment and testing technology that you need to really work at the real edge of material science as opposed to at the laboratory edge. We try to, we try to cross that boundary. The main impact is what the students who graduate here, what they do with their lives. Students leave here and they not only have the experience in the classroom, but they have real genuine interactions with industrial problems. We try to get our freshmen and sophomores in touch with materials rather than have them wait through those first two years of, of education to really see the applications and the way it can impact society. Our mission statement is actually very clear. We serve the community in engaging and educating our young people to become leaders in the field of material science and engineering through not only their knowledge, but also through their educational experience so that they're able to join the discipline as new leaders when they graduate and participate. Alum from this specific department are out there really providing leadership for the world. Who's going to have an impact on the general public? A material scientist and engineer who develops the latest, greatest technique to image individual cells within the human body as a way of detecting cancer or fighting disease. It's applied science and that makes it, I think, a fulfilling career because you feel that you're doing something useful at the end of the day. I see the future as very bright, but not ensure. It's going to take the students that are walking around me today to say, yes, we are going to apply ourselves in these very, very difficult fields and come up with the innovations of tomorrow. But as far as are we close to answering all the questions, no, no, nowhere close. There's so much with the advanced or the smart materials that hasn't even been touched. The world for materials is still growing, and it'll be growing for a long, long time. It is a discipline where you have the potential to change the world or impact it in a very significant way. The more your imagination rolls, you find ways to make life better by applying material science and engineering and biology all rolled into one. Penn State has excelled in that for a long period of time. It's a very exciting place of excellence and we plan to continue to grow.